Hey there, uh, another video with uh, using uh, Ultimate FPS uh, version 1.5.0. This is as of April 10th, 2015. And I'm using uh, Realistic Card Controller by uh, Gamecracker Games. This is version 2.5.1 as of uh, April 10th. Uh, so the first thing we do when we open the manual for the Realistic Card Controller, we have to add this vehicle layer and wheel layer. Uh, so I just added it here, layer 8, I put vehicle, and layer 9, I put wheel. So you'll see on one of the vehicles, here are the wheel colliders, they're on the wheel layer, and the vehicle is on the vehicle layer. Uh, the next thing I did is I pulled the advanced player in the scene, and on the FPS camera, I added this uh, Enter Par script, which is the realistic car controller version 2. Uh, enter Exit script, this is the Enter Exit camera script. I left all the defaults. On the vehicle, you have to find this um, RCC Enter Exit car script, and you need to change this to whatever player you're using. For me, I'm just going to show it with this advanced player. Uh, so you're going to want to change that. Um, this get out position is pretty helpful. Uh, so basically, um, for this SUV, you'll see the get out position is actually located here. So you can put this wherever you want, move it around, and, but this is where, uh, when you exit it, it's going to uh, get out. It's going to spawn the player. So I wanted to show this real quick without editing any scripts. Um, so if we come over here, notice it says E to enter to use. Drive around, hit E, and you're out. But notice this. I put this block up. If I get close to it, it's going to say press E to use. So this is one of the reasons why I update the scripts. And also, E key, notice when I hit the E, it changes weapons. So what I want to do is I want to change that to be the F key or whatever key I'm using for my UFPS input manager. So right here you see interact. Currently I have this set, it's the default, it's set to F. The letter F. Um, so I want to be able to, whatever UFPS game I'm using, I want to be able to make my inner exit key the same as whatever I'm using here in the input manager. So that's why I changed the script. I also noticed that cube I plugged in, it's just on the default layer. So all my vehicles are on this vehicle layer. So that's the layer I'm going to want to look for uh, as the player to enter exit piece. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm updating this RCC enter exit camera. Um, so this is the one that you put on the FPS camera uh, for the player. So it goes advanced for this FPS camera. Uh, so what I did is I added these rows. Um, added this tooltip, which will show up uh, in the editor when you're um, hovering over it. That's this box that just showed up. So I just typed this um, so I'll remember what it's for. And then I've got this public key code, and I uh, selected F because it's the same one that UFPS uses. And I've got another um, tooltip. Um, so this tooltip is just basically saying in the inspector you want to type in the name whatever you're using for the vehicle layer. In this case, it's the word vehicle. And then the start function, what I do is I take this name, I find it, and I assign an integer to it. In the update on row 26, I am adding in uh, a check where it just says 
and uh, hit dot collider game object dot layer equals my vehicle layer int, which is what we set up uh, higher up. And then I'm also changing this uh, input get key down. Uh, this is the variable that we assigned to our key code. Uh, for this GUI label, I just changed what it said. So press, and then I entered this piece uh, with all the extra quotes around it. And then I changed this uh, to say, instead of key to use, it says key to enter exit. All right, we did similar stuff on this um, RCC enter exit car script. Uh, this script goes on the vehicle itself. Um, so I added uh, the below lines, row 14 to 20. Um, so basically, this same thing on the other one. I've got an interaction key code, and I've got a tooltip for it. So you want these to match. So if you use F, you use F to get in the car, you're going to get F to get out of the car. Um, so you place this on your vehicle. Um, so I've got this set up. If I want to have a game object as my player in the car, so when I'm in it, it shows a player. So this is totally optional, this piece. The next piece, I change row 31. It said get key, um, change this to my interaction key code. Uh, the next piece is totally optional or if you want to actually display a player in the vehicle. So if you don't want to display a player in the vehicle, then you do not need to do this next step. So in this get in, uh, after row 41, I've got, uh, if the, char the character in the car is not null, so if we've actually populated it with something, then turn the character in the car to true. So you set active true. And then we do the opposite for get out of the car. Um, so row, after row 77, I do I check to see if it's not null again, and then I just set it to false. So once you've made those changes on the advanced player, you're going to see this where you can select the key code. It's going to be the default, and you can change this vehicle layer. So this is the same one as this. Um, for the other camera, uh, the other script, uh, you're going to see uh, these two changes. So you'll have the key code and then you'll have a game object. So if you don't populate this it's not going to error out. Uh, but if you do populate it when you get in the vehicle you can have it look like there's a character there. Alright so just to show it in action I put a bright orange sphere inside the SUV. Say it's a child. Um, I'm going to deactivate it. And then on the inner exit for the um, SUV, I made the sphere um, the character in car. All right, so you notice I walk up to the wall, nothing shows up. I walk up to the vehicle, it's going to say press F key to enter. Notice there's no orange sphere. Okay. I turn the uh, player on, I hit F, and I get out, and the sphere is gone. Um, so basically, that orange sphere would be your mocked up player that's in there. You just turn it on and off. Um, so that's it. Um, I'll show uh, the, the parts of the script that I changed uh, in a link, and uh, hopefully that helps. Thanks a lot.